Here's a B&K model 625 tube tester that I picked up at a resale shop this morning. This one dates from around 62 or 63, somewhere in that neighborhood. Cassie, you want to be part of this too? Okay, go on. Go on, Cassie. Okay, as I was saying, this is a B&K tube tester from around 62, 63 case is a little beat up on it which is no surprise and I can tell that the original handle was replaced at some point this model actually contains a volt ohm meter and a picture tube tester and rejuvenator in addition to the standard tube tester these types of instruments were mainly marketed to TV service technicians who made house calls. You could take something like this into the customer's home and, and not have to worry about taking three separate instruments to troubleshoot a customer's television set. And here are the, here are the various picture tube adapters. This will, this is currently set up to test black and white tubes, but according to the instruction manual, it will test color picture tubes with the correct adapter, which we don't have here, which is really no big deal. I'm probably not going to be using the CRT test function very much anyway, because I have a good picture tube tester, and this will pretty much check octals, noctals, miniatures, new vistas, compactrons, novars, pretty much anything made from the late 1930s up until the 60s. And now I will open this up and we'll see what the inside looks like. The owner of this thing claims it works, but we all know how that is. They plug something in, and if the power light comes on, that means it works. But I'm going to open this up and restore it, replace any defective components, and get this thing working back to like it was when it left the factory. Okay, so we'll open this up and see what the inside looks like. And here's the underside of the chassis. It looks in fair in decent shape. I only see a couple of electrolytic capacitors that will probably need to be replaced. And I'll also check all the resistors and make sure they're still in good shape. And clean the switches and controls with contact cleaner as well as the tube sockets. If any, and if any of the tube sockets have loose fitting contact, I'll have to replace the socket. A lot of these tube testers, the sockets will be so loose that the tube won't even hardly make connection, so any such sockets here will have to be replaced. This is just a basic emission, emission tube tester. It was obviously geared for the TV repair market. And one nice thing about these B&K models is they have a decent grid emission test which is crucial for TV tubes. I've run into a lot of TV tubes, tubes with excessive grid emission and a lot of testers won't test for that function so you know that's that's why these are handy. Okay there you go my B&K model 625 tube tester slash CRT tester slash VOM that I will one day restore and put it to good use. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later. And while looking around in the shop for something else, I ran across this other tube tester that's of similar design, only it's probably about 25 years older. This is a Supreme set tester. This is a model 504A set tester made by Supreme in Greenwood, Mississippi. This model also includes a multimeter along with a
standard tube tester and it looks like this may also have a capacitor tester built in now obviously this is an older unit this tests the old multi-prong tubes from the 20s and 30s as well as octal tubes and loctal tubes and seven pin miniature tubes there's no nine pin miniature socket so judging by the tubes that this will check I would say this particular tester was made probably in the very early 40s possibly very late 30s but I'm thinking early 40s on this now we'll open this one up and see what it looks like on the inside I, I don't even think I've ever even powered this up I got it from somebody just because it was made in Greenwood Mississippi and I eventually want to restore it and here's the inside of the supreme set tester as you can see it's a very or a fairly complex instrument and it's very well made as you can see and I believe this this clamp here might have been a retainer for a battery for the ohm meter circuitry I'm not a hundred percent positive on that but this should be an interesting restoration project okay there you go my B&K and Supreme tube testers thanks for watching and more to come later okay so this thing definitely uses a battery here's the plug that plugs onto a battery so that answers that answers that question okay thanks for watching and more to come later